Hi, my name is Ken Edwards. I'm an owner and engineer with LMNO Engineering Research and Software Limited. This is our website, which is at www.lmnoeng.com. This video is going to be an analysis using our software and equations to analyze the experimental data that was taken in the previous video of water discharging from a tank. We are going to scroll down and use our discharge from a tank calculation to analyze the data that was taken. In our previous video, we recorded the head level in a tank, which is the water level from the center line of the orifice to the water surface in the tank. We recorded that as 4.75 inches and we know that the orifice diameter B is 0 0.25 inches. We also recorded the horizontal and the vertical trajectory of the water as it discharged through the tank. The tank was a thin walled container and so we'll be modeling it as a sharp edged orifice. This is the calculation and I'll come back to this in a few minutes, but first I'd like to discuss the equations that this calculation uses. The equation that we'll be using is Q equals C naught A square root of 2GH, where H is the water level in the tank from the center line of the orifice up to the water surface, which was 4.75 inches. G is the acceleration of gravity, 32.2 feet per second squared. A is the area of the orifice hole based on the diameter of 0 0.25 inches. And C naught is the product of the velocity coefficient CV and the orifice coefficient C naught. C naught equals CC times CV. For a sharp edged orifice, CC is 0 0.62 and CV is 0 0.98. Note that this equation uses consistent units, so if you were going to plug numbers into this equation, you would want to convert H to feet and A, the area, to feet squared in order to compute Q in cubic feet per second. Now let's scroll back up to our calculation. And we are going to compute flow rate Q from the head, diameter, and type of hole. So let's click on that selection. And we'll use English units with Q in gallons per minute. And we have a circular hole. And uh, instead of having, having rounded orifice edges, we'll have a sharp edged orifice. Well, let's go back to our data, look at our data. Um, we recorded our diameter of 0 0.25 inches, our head of 4.75 inches, which is equivalent to 0 0.40 feet, and we recorded a volume of 0 0.5 U.S. gallons, and it took 58 seconds to fill that 0 0.5 gallon volume, and that works out to a flow rate of 0 0.52 gallons per minute. So let's go back to the calculation and enter our head in feet of 0 0.40 and our diameter of the hole 0 0.25 inches and we'll use the default values for the CC and the CV and the product of those two is the C naught, the orifice coefficient and these values 0.62 and 0.98 are selected by the our built into the program um, by selecting sharp edged orifice. So then we have our values entered. Let's click to calculate. And the program computes a discharge that is a flow rate of 0 0.47 gallons per minute. And we see that we get a inaccurate uh, message here. And I'll come back to that in a minute. But let's jot down our discharge of 0 0.47 gallons per minute. And let's go back to our page that lists our data. 
And so from the tank discharge calculation page, we had 0 0.47 gallons per minute, and the flow rate from the experiment was 0 0.52 gallons per minute. Now how close of an agreement that is, well we can compute the percent difference, which is 11 percent difference. So whether that's an acceptable difference or not depends on what you want to use the results for and also depends on uh, the error of the measurements. The reasons for the difference is, well the head was probably measured to plus or minus 0.25 inches accuracy and the flow rate volume was probably about plus or minus 0 0.5 pints which is 0 0.06 gallons so that's probably the accuracy of our volume measurement and the time um, was probably accurate to plus or minus two seconds um, note that also we could have a discrepancy because the equation that we used Q equals C naught A square root of 2 GH is most accurate if the head H is greater than 4.17 feet and we only had 0 0.4 feet and also it's best to use it if the diameter is greater than one inch and we only had 0 0.25 inches. Um, despite those validity criteria, this equation remains the most commonly used equation for water discharging from an orifice. Um, how, although technically when it's been tested by various investigators, um, it's best to use um, to meet the criteria for the head and the diameter. But even not meeting those criteria, we are still able to, the computation is still able to agree within 11% of our measured value. And there is also, could be some discrepancy in the CC and the CV, and thus the C0 values um, that are used in the program. And those were developed by investigators over the years and they have developed, determined that those are the best values to use um, for a sharp-edged orifice. Well, this concludes our analysis of the experiment. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at lmno at lmnoeng.com or in the USA, the phone is area 740-592-1890. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.